so here I'll show you the MPS accessories how to use them to charge and power a laptop and how to use it for a DC fan so first the accessories a multi adapter for different type of laptop a charger and a 12 DC car charger adjustable 12 DC car charger so while it's adjustable if you look at it here we have um, it all the way from 15 let's focus all the way from 15 to 24 so it's adjustable switch 15 to 24 volts so for your laptop it must be at 19 volts so we are 15 16 18 19 so 16 18 19 so that's where it should be for your laptop so for the MPS there are certain features we must know here we have um, two ports for your DC appliances 12 volt DC appliances 12 volt specifically your DC fan your star times your DSTV that works with this so and again we have um, a USB port two USB port actually 5 volt 12.2.1 ampere and here in the middle there is a voltmeter so let me switch this on so that you see the voltmeter so we can see that there we have a voltmeter and in, you can see it was 13.3 but 13.4 so so now we have 13.4 so what this number tells you is you know when your MPS is full so when your MPS is full this should be at 13.6 when your MPS is full this should be at 13.6 13.6 13.4 that's when it's full so again here's the charging port for the MPS having a matching mount with the charger so um but also now um yeah is the port for the car charger car charger goes in in here the 12 volt car charger to charge your laptop so let's try that for first for a laptop so i plug this in i want you to watch as this one comes on okay can see that this is on now so since it's already on 19 volts so here this end you connect your adjustable i mean this multi mount you connect it for the matching one for your own laptop but for this for mine i already have a matching cord for my own laptop so i plug in directly so i want you to watch while i plug so that you see the indicator comes on yes that's it so the indicator is on but let's come to the laptop and check okay you can see the battery is moving and here it says 69 let me focus here 69 percent available plug-in so it's plug-in the older system will show plug-in and charging but for this model it's only show plug in what you can see the battery is increasing and going on so um again so let's switch it off i remove this now for the charger so just like i said for each resistance we have a canon mount charger so how to plug it in first you can either match this arrow here to a part of this that has a cut down or you match the mount so just watch while i plug you can see i'm positioning it the way this mount is so just watch this let me bring this on a little so that you can see okay so you can see this matching so it just goes in directly like that and that's it so for the charger you can see there is a green light on the charger this is showing now because there is no power source from the charger but there is a power source from the battery so what you just use this to monitor is this when it is charging this light will be red when your mps is charging this light will be red 
but when it is full it turns green when it is full it turns green when it's charging it turns red when it is full it turns green so the last thing i want to show you is actually how to use this to charge your dc fan so we have a dc fan here to show and um, i have a cord here going to the dc fan so so this cord just like i showed you earlier goes in into any of this so i switch this on so let's go you can see that now there is already power from this fan now it's showing that there is power so let's um on the fan let's switch it off so this matching cord goes um directly to the back of the fan so this is what your electrician can do for you you just make a, a port for you connecting to the terminal of the battery and that is how it works